we have some rather sad news regarding uh, women's hockey. Casey Bellamy, longtime USA women's hockey player, she is retiring after nine world championships. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you guys are a big fan of like world, of USA hockey, this is obviously some sad news. Um, she does have a quote here, Nate. She said, and I quote, "To be," um, she said, "To be honest, I didn't need another Olympics to justify my career as a professional athlete. As a professional female athlete, your priorities change. I was ready to move on to the next chapter of my life." But at the same time, I thought about other people's dreams and aspirations. I'd most likely make the Olympic team, but deep down, that's not fair to me or my teammates because I am mentally happy. And the answer would probably be no. I'd just be forcing myself to get an extra check mark. There are girls that I played with for the last three years that haven't made an Olympic roster, but I know deserve to be on that team personality-wise, character-wise, skill-wise. This could be their chance. Um, and a little bit on Bellamy, she has appeared in nine world championships and she's won seven gold, um, which ranks second all time in U.S. history. And if she played the 2021 tournament, her 10 appearances would have matched Angela Ruggiero and Jenna Porter or Jenny Porter, excuse me. But currently, uh, current forward Hillary Knight, she is poised to move into a sole possession of first place with our 11th appearance this August. And uh, Bellamy also said, and I quote, it is extremely hard to find words to describe my career. Being able to represent my country for the past 15 years has been such a privilege. The respecting competitive nature that hockey brings out and people make for an unbelievable culture to be a part of. I am forever grateful for the lessons learned, memories made, and relationships built. Um, yeah, Nate, now I'm going to pass it on to you. But before I pass it on to you, I just want to say this article was written by Emily Kaplan, ESPN. So your thoughts on Casey Bellamy retiring from U.S. women's hockey? Uh, first of all, I wish Casey Bellamy the best of luck in retirement. Um, one interesting fact that I actually just re uh, learned about her is that she was actually born in Providence, Rhode Island. So she she been repping New England like crazy, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, Mario, she had a really great career. You know, she's been in the championship for uh, she's been in the championship many many times. Um, she won seven of them, correct? You said. Yeah, she's been in the she's been in nine championships and she's won seven. Right. So like she said, you know, she has you know, like she said, um. Um, just it's not like well, not not that it was fair, but like um, what do you call it? You know, when I look at it, there's nothing else for her to prove. You know, she's a seven-time champion, like like Tom Brady, and um, yeah, you know, he's got she got herself some rings, and overall, Mario, you know, she's done she's done a really great job in her career. You know, so I can definitely see her making the Hockey Hall of Fame. I'm pretty sure the Hockey Hall of Fame is just like the Basketball Hall of Fame. Right. Where, like, you, know, you don't have to play in the NHL, you know, if you make a mark on the sport, you go into the Hall of Fame. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, it's in um, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, so, yeah, so it definitely, I, I think it works like that. So I can, it, I can definitely see her making the Hall of Fame without a doubt, you know. It, you don't, you don't win seven rings for nothing. Right. You know what I mean? Especially when you're or, part or of your case team. Gold, or in her case, gold medals. Right, right. Even better, even better, you know. And she played on the U.S. Uh, U.S. hockey team for quite some time, so she she's accomplished everything she ever wanted to, Mario. And, and you know, like she said, she's happy with it, and she wants to give other people a chance. And I completely respect that. So, um, with that being said, you know, best of luck to Casey Bellamy uh, in retirement. You know, definitely a Hall of Famer without a doubt. Um, and I'll pass it on to you, Mario. Right. Well, first of all, congratulations to Casey Bellamy on an amazing hockey career. Um, one thing I do want to point to is what you just mentioned is how she retired in order to give others chances. And I completely do respect that. And I admire her for that because so many athletes, so many great athletes, they continue to play and play and play. And, and it's understandable because they love the game. But in her situation, there are, it's, it's like a tryout, you know, not a tryout, but it's, it's, like quali it's like qualifiers, you know. She said, no doubt about it, I can make this team, you know, but I don't want, again, personally, I wouldn't be happy. And the reason why is because, like, she loves to play hockey, but she's already proven everything she needs to prove in her hockey career. You know, she's not chasing, oh, I want to be the top, I want to be the best hockey player of all time. She knows deep down inside that her career has been justified through what she did within the 15 years that she's played. And I'm happy that she has given others a chance who, have, who she's been playing with that just never got a chance, you know. Playing for the Olympics is a huge deal, Nate. Huge deal. I think that is one of the biggest – one of the biggest like uh, accomplishments that you could ever put on a professional uh, athlete's resume is being an Olympic champion. And there's girls who have a chance to do that. And again, with her continuing to play, it kind of takes away a spot, but not, 
but obviously she deserves that spot in the Olympics. But she realizes like, I don't need it. You know, I've proven everything I've needed to prove in my career. I was once that hungry, young uh, hockey player, just like all these other women. So why not retire and give them a chance to play in the U.S. Olympics? Not because, not out of pity, but because they deserve to play. There, Like she said, there are a lot of players that she's played with who are skilled enough to play there, who have uh, who have the character to play there, you know, who are great players that just don't get the chance to play. And, she, and now she's retiring for them in order to give them spots. And I completely respect that, Nate. You know, Casey Bellamy has nothing left to prove in her hockey career. No doubt about it. She's a hockey Hall of Famer. Um, but with that being said, I wish her the best of luck in retirement, you know, and whatever retirement has in store for her. And I wish the U.S. Uh, women's hockey team and the U.S. women's Olympic hockey team the best of luck as well.